Time for some mail. Whoa. Roll it back there, Panda. Much better. What is going on? Joar Vintage Pokemon back again. We've got a really cool mail time opening for you guys today. I have a, a buddy of mine or a friend, colleague, associate, whatever you want to call it, but I've worked with him over the last, I want to say, seven, eight years, and he's given me a lot of really great deals with Pokemon. He's kind of like a middleman of sorts. He buys on the low end of things, and then he sells to make a little bit of a profit, and a lot of times he comes to me and he sells to me for a little less than otherwise would be a premium. And I've been working with him for a really long time. So the deal that we've got worked out this time around was I sent him a card list. I needed a bunch of uh, commons, uncommons, and a few rares mixed in there, all first edition, to help me complete some of my lists for my binder set. And uh, he told me, he said, I got, I think, 90% of what it is that you're looking for. So this is actually the first batch that he managed to dig up. He said, uh, Joe, I'm going to send you these cards. You take a look at them. Tell me that you're satisfied. And then uh, you pay me what you feel like they're worth. And I think a lot of that is just because this is a lot of bulk for him. A lot of these commons and uncommon and stuff. So, I mean, that's just one of the benefits of having such great communication and working with someone that you're familiar with is that he's kind of giving me that benefit of that. We've worked with each other for such a long time. He knows that I'm going to be good to him and he's going to be good to me. So I'm going to take a look at what he's got for me. He didn't tell me specifically, which I think is part of the fun of this video, is I don't know what I'm going to find in this pile. I do know that um, the cards, the card sets that I was looking to complete included uh, Gym Heroes, uh, Neo Genesis, uh, Neo Revelation as well, and I, I think that's about it that I was kind of searching for this time around. So uh, let's actually separate this out here, and we'll go through this a little at a time. You can see we're starting off with some gym heroes. We have a Brock Santru. That's a really awesome looking card right there. And of course, all of these are going to be first edition. We've got Brock's Rhyhorn. And while there are no holographic cards in this lot that I'm going to be showing you, I think it's important to appreciate the commons and uncommons, especially since cards have really been on the rise in terms of their prices. That includes the commons and uncommons for a lot of sets as well. And so these cards are super vintage and I think they deserve a lot of love. So we've got Misty's Tentacool and that's a really cool card. Everybody knows Starmie is the best Pokemon on Misty's team, come on. So we've got the good old Starmie there. We've got Misty's Sea King. I know one card I needed from him was Misty's Polyrath, so I'm not sure if he was able to deliver on that one or not, we'll see. Lieutenant Surge's Magnemite, Ma Magnemite. Erica's Weeping Bell. Erica's Oddish, Erica's Executor, that's a cool card. Erica's Execute, ooh, Erica's Dratini. I love the art on this card. I just think the black background really helps Dratini to pop out. Also being just, you know, a good old vintage dragon type. Brock's Lickitung, kind of weird that Brock's got a Lickitung. Brock's Graveler, Brock's Golbat, Brock's Geodude. We've got some trainers, and now we're into some Neo-Revelation stuff, it looks like. So we've got Unown K. We have a Snubble from Neo-Revelation. Skip Plume. And I did ask him, I said, could you make these be at least near mint condition? So around the seven to, maybe seven to nine range, if you could, because I know he likes to grade a lot of the rares, and this is a really big hitter right here. I mean, when you buy a pack of Neo Revelation, you get a non holo This is one of the non hollows that you want to get if it's not going to be a holographic card. And this looks pretty darn clean. It's a little bit of a white nick. You can see it right there at the top. But the corners look pretty... Well, there's a white dot there, too. Um, still fairly clean, though. That's that's definitely about an, an 8 all day long. Ho-Ho, Legendary Bird. Definitely cooler as a holographic card, but man, I'll take this all day. This is just for the binder set after all. I knew what I was getting for the most part. None of these were going to be holographic. We've got Kabutops, which is really cool. We've got a Butterfree first edition. Those are all three of those are rare the Butterfree, the Kabutops, and the Ho Ho. All right, we've got an unknown Y. We've got a good old Pilo Swine there. We've got a Flaffy, a Super Energy Retrieval, Focus Band. Arcade game, Slowpoke, 
And ooh, we're in uh, Neo Genesis right now. It's a good old classic Pikachu card. Pikachu's gonna be valuable no matter what set he's in. See, that's pretty clean again. Some white dots, a couple of them up top here. So that's around a near mint seven. So that's fine with me, perfect for the binder. Let's take a look at the other half of our pile now. You can see we're still working with a little bit of Neo Genesis here. We've got a classy Onyx from Neo Genesis that would evolve into Steelix. We've got Mareep, Gliger. We've got a Giraffe Rig. We've got Cyndaquils times two. I just want to show these off for a second. We've got one one of these Cyndaquils. I'm not. I'm, I can't remember which one. But in Japanese, one was released in the Neo Genesis set, and the other one was released in the uh, Premium File Folder 1 as a promo card. Uh, in English, they released both artworks. And of course, in English, you've got both holographic Typhlosions. Although the Typhlosion number 17, that's the more valuable of the two Typhlosions. Technically, it's a lot harder to grade and uh, the price of it's really gone up in recent times. So definitely two really cool cards. I love Cyndaquil. Definitely my favorite starter of the three. Can never really get on board with Feraligator, although he's pretty cool too. Uh, Cedra, we've got Quilava, Fanfi, we've got Lantern, we have Electabuzz, we have good old Baby Cleffa here, and that's a rare card for you. We have Articuno, which is awesome because it's one of the few rares that I needed from uh, Fossil Set as I needed an Articuno. So really, really great that he was able to deliver for me. A couple energies. And we've got some trainer cards here that are from Gym Heroes that I needed. There's a lot, a lot of cards in the Gym Heroes set. I think there were upwards of 120 cards in that set. So a lot of trainers in that set that I needed. Sabrina's Mr. Mime. Sabrina's Ghastly, Sabrina's Drowsy, we've got a Sabrina's Abra, Misty's Staryu, Misty's Shelter, Misty's Seal, Misty's Poliwag, Misty's Horsey, good old Goldeen, we've got some more of Erica's stuff right here, we've got the Oddish, the Executor, we've got Erica's Bellsprout, and classic Brock's Zubat. So guys, thanks for checking out these cards with me today. Love going over all the vintage cards, not just the holographic ones, and it's been a blast. Remember to give a nice thumbs up button, and subscribe if you want to tune in for more great Pokemon card content action. So we'll be back with more vintage cards in the future. Tune in next time. Bye-bye, and see you later.